Hello, I'd like to talk to you about some of the things businesses should be doing in the current environment to help ensure their survival once everything gets back to normal. This crisis has certainly proved the adage, turnover is vanity, profit is sanity and cash is king. So the first thing you should be doing is having a look at your cash flow and forecasting when you'll have, have cash coming in and cash going out. So sit down and redo your cash flow forecast. Review your costs and outgoings. Can anything be switched off? or tone down a little. So look at trying to defer some cost where sensible and talk to your suppliers. Can you negotiate discounts with your suppliers? Will they give you reductions? Remember, they're going to be in the same boat as you. They'll be wanting cash in, so they may be happy to take lesser cash in order to get that cash in. Can you also extend payment terms with suppliers so that you can pay at a later date when you've probably got more cash coming in? So build relationships with your suppliers, keep them sweet, and remember they're in the same boat as you and you'll need to work with them once the crisis is over and everything gets back to normal. Have a look at all your other costs. Can you reduce any? Can you defer any? Or can you suspend any of those costs? But recognise that not all your costs can be jeopardised and some you will have to continue paying to keep the business going. For anyone in premises, have a chat to your landlord about the rent Many landlords now recognise that their tenants are in financial difficulties and they're prepared to be pragmatic and help them out, either suspending some rent payments, which can be caught up at a later date, or maybe reducing them for a short period of time. The government has introduced new measures, which mean that if you miss a rent payment over the next three months, you can't be evicted. So you've got a little bit of extra protection there. Overall, though, be careful how much cost you defer because you may just be storing up a problem for the future when it all suddenly comes down a pipe and hits you at a later date. Have a look also at your debtors, the people that owe you money. Keep chasing that money. Now some of those people will be in financial difficulties too, but keep talking to them, keep being nice to them and keep being helpful. But overall, get that cash in, even if you offer stage payments, some discounts or reductions. And again, remember, you're going to work with these people once everything gets back to normal. If you have staff, review those staffing levels. How busy are those staff? And can you make use of the government furlough scheme where appropriate? Overall, try and keep the work coming in where you can. And be proactive trying to get some work in. So can you adapt your business to work in different ways? So can you move your business online? Or can you perhaps offer delivery service? So I'm aware a lot of restaurants are now offering a delivery service. Uh, a lot of butchers, uh, fruit and veg companies are now offering a delivery service. So are the things you can do to perhaps get some cash in and keep some of your customers happy and loyal to you. Next, have a look at all the government support schemes, of which there are many. If you are a bit short of cash, consider applying for the C-Bills loan scheme. If you pay VAT, remember that the government has said you don't have to pay any VAT now until March 2021. But again, remember my previous comment about storing up problems for the future. So perhaps ring fence that money, put it on one side and only use it in an emergency. If you're self-employed, then you should be looking for the communication from HMRC telling you how much support you're getting based on your last three years of taxable profits. As I've already mentioned, we've got the staff furlough scheme where the government will pay up to 80% of staff salaries up to £2,500 a month. If you already have a loan with a bank, then ask the bank for a capital repayment holiday. Ask them if they can push those loan repayments back a few months until you're back on your feet. Next thing to have a look at is your marketing. So review your marketing costs and ensure where you're paying for marketing, it's still value for money. But think carefully about switching off all your marketing altogether. What I'd be doing is ramping up my social media advertising and marketing, especially anything that I do free. So keep your name out there in the public domain. Make sure your suppliers, your customers, your potential customers are still aware that you're there and available even if you can't do much for them at this current time so that when things get back to normal they will come back to you quite quickly. 
There's now a lot of online networking, a lot of the physical networking groups because they can't meet are now meeting online. So join in with that networking. It's free, it's new to everyone, everyone's in the same boat about how to do it and how it works well, but join in. It's a new way of finding new customers and getting some new business. I mentioned staff already and the furlough scheme. But if you have got staff working from, from home, uh, if you've got limited number of staff in the offices, keep in close contact with them. Many staff enjoy the social contact of coming into the office and meeting colleagues and they'll be missing that. Many of them will also be worried about the current situation. So regular team meetings online using technology, regular managing meetings, regular checkups on them will help them in terms of their general health and well-being and particularly their mental health. Your clients and customers obviously a very important part of your business, so keep in touch with them via social media, email, telephone, indirectly via social media or on one-to-one. -one. Uh, again, you want to keep them loyal, you want to keep reminding them you're there and still available for help and support. And then lastly, have a look at your business processes. You might have some time available at the moment just to review your business. So take it as an opportunity to have a look at your business, review your business plan. Can you maybe reduce the amount of paperwork in your office? Can you adapt the business to use more sales outlets? As I said, move online or move into direct sales. Does your website need a refresh? Can your staff be updated, updating their skills with some training? Essentially, what you must do is take action and take decisions now. If you make decisions too slow, you may be too late. So have a think about all those tips and good luck for the future. Thank you very much.